Hello everyone and welcome to TCG Card Shop Simulator. Now this game's been out for about a week now and I have been playing it off camera. I will have a series, a Let's Play series coming out very shortly. But in today's episode and maybe a couple more episodes, I thought we'd do a fun little challenge. So we're going to start a new game and we're going to explain what the challenge is going to be. So the challenge is going to be is to make a profitable business and hopefully get an earning of one million pounds but we're only allowed to sell singles, so our own cards. Now, the first problem we're going to come across is picking a name for our shop. So I think we should call it singles only because I think that's kind of fitting for what our challenge is. So singles only, confirm the name. So our first problem is, is we can't actually open the shop until we have our card packs stocked up. So we're gonna order just one of these boxes for now. So we're going to add them to our cart and we're going to purchase those. So now we need to pick up the package from the front of the shop here. And we need to put an item on the shelf apparently. Now as you can see, we can't actually open the shop until we put one on the shelf. So this kind of does go against the rules a little bit. But what we're going to do is that we're just going to grab one of these. And we're going to pop on the shelf. And we're going to just put this at market price. And now we should be able to open a shop. So that is problem number one solved. So the next problem we have, if we go to my DIY, you will see that we need the card table to be able to sell our cards that we have collected by opening the packs. Now this requires shop level three. So unfortunately, we have to break the rules slightly to start with by selling some cards to gain XP. Now we can also gain XP by opening cards, as you will see when we open this pack here. So we can open this pack and you will see that once we finish opening this pack, it will allow us, not bad, it will give us 15 XP. So we can get XP that way, start making a collection and also sell some. So what I've decided to do is we will sell one box and that's all we will sell. That will give us enough experience as well as buying some as well. But I think that's all we're going to do with the start of breaking the rules. So let's go ahead, let's open the shop and we need to open a or order a few more packs of these cards. So I think we should go for, yeah, about eight. Eight boxes should be enough. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and purchase those. That's half our budget gone so far. So our shop is open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell these cards, get these out of the way, and then we're just gonna spend pretty much the remainder of the time opening all of them boxes, all of those boxes out there until we get enough experience for level three. So we need 69. My brain completely went dead then. There we go. Thank you very much. And we'll just get rid of these ones as well. Buy 54 for these. Nice big purchase there. So 784. Lovely. Okay. So we're also already halfway through shop level one. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of these boxes. We're going to open it up and we're just going to pop it down here for now. And we're just going to basically grab these cards and we're just going to start opening them. Uh, but we just had a customer. Okay. So we'll just pop those back in. Oh. Hello, that will like a nice little bit of money for us in there and change nothing to have those. So yeah, once we get rid of these customers, all of these cards, I mean, we haven't got that many left on the shelf, so only five, it's pretty good. And we can just start opening cards. Hopefully all of these boxes will give us enough experience to be able to get to level three so we can unlock the card table. So you're probably wondering how else we will make some money now. What we will be doing is utilizing the play table. So that does charge customers as and when they use the play table to play to play Tetramon. So hopefully we will make a little bit of money off of that as well. I think that's at level two. Let me just double check. Pretty sure that's at level two. Yeah, shop level two required gives us the play table that will earn some money as well. We just have to be careful on the price that we set it to, otherwise no one will bother playing. So it's going to be a slow progress, but we're going to get there. So we have no more cards on our shelf over there. So now it's time to open up packs. So I'm going to go ahead and open all of these boxes and then I'll showcase the rare ones. If we do get any, I will show them to you at the end. So let's get open. So we will fast forward this bit for everyone just because it's going to take a little bit of a while. Yeah, that's the first pack to open. We are at level two now. So what I think we will do is go ahead and purchase a couple of play tables. We'll stick them in. So I think we should purchase. Do I really want to go all three? 
yeah we'll go all three we'll end up with no money at all but we should be making an income with these so go ahead and situate these down here that will give us a little bit more of an income we can just join them together build a nice little community over here so oh well that's annoying isn't it so if we can just put this over here for now i will get rid of this box that's basically it we now just need to open a whole load of these we could set the prices on these tables i think um, let me see is it manage event format standard edit standard so yeah random rarity pack and card price lovely seven an hour we'll go for i think we'll go for eight nearby store charge let's go for 650 let's go a little bit lower but hopefully that will increase more customers so that should be good so let's go ahead let's fast forward finish and open these packs and we'll see how we get on oh that was a nice one we got a play effect fire element deals the 30 extra damage this turn 31 pounds so we're off to a pretty good start with that one oh we just got a nice tetron 34 pound card so we've got a couple of these so far well, a couple of higher end cards i wouldn't say they're massively massively rare but we're going in the right direction nonetheless oh yes we just got a gold edition helio so that one's worth 80 pounds so so stuff i think we're looking around the 200 pounds pretty far off a million but we're ever so closer to getting this challenge complete now we are already at level three, but I think I want to finish opening all of these packs just so we've got a good collection of cards to sell. As you can see, our play tables are doing pretty well. Um, could probably do a turn that light on at some point, although the day ends in about an hour. So not too worried about the light at the moment. I've just been standing out here opening packs of cards. So yeah, we're slowly getting there, but I'm going to be here for a little bit longer before we end up um, opening all of these packs of cards. But at least we'll have a nice little collection to start selling our singles. Okay, so we are on our last eight packs of cards. And out of all of these boxes, trust me, it's taken me about 20 minutes to go through all of these. The last couple of boxes, we haven't actually found any new cards. So I think except for that one nice silver edition for 20 pounds i have put a couple of rare cards which i'm excited to show you so i'll show you those once we go ahead and get these open but as you can see i've gained quite a bit of experience as well i'm now at level seven so we should be able to get the card table and we'll have a look at see what else we can get i know at level 10 we get an employee so a cashier will be perfect will allow us more time during the day to open up these card packs i think we should have some access to some rarer card packs as well so some new cards will be on the table as you can see i'm not getting very many new cards so just quickly we're just going to have a clear up of all of these boxes don't want the street looking like a mess now and then we'll have a look at our album and see how we're getting on and hopefully i have got enough money to purchase a card table i did move the other play table over here for some reason this customer seems to be stuck here I'm not entirely sure why but they seem to be just stuck there and i sold our shelf as well so let's have a look and see if we can afford the card table no we can't okay so it looks like we're gonna have to wait a little bit make some more money off the play tables here might be able to buy another one actually i can i'm not yeah i think i'm going to just because i'm going to struggle to make money otherwise so I think we'll go ahead and purchase another play table as that is our only income at the moment. Now, another thing to note, I did say that I wouldn't be selling any cards apart from the singles. But if we head on over to stock order, we go on to accessories, we can sell card sleeves and we can sell cleansers. So I think we'll go ahead and allow ourselves to be able to purchase these accessories and also these figurines as well as they don't really class as cards so i think just selling cards singly shall be the limit and the accessories like the card sleeves and that i think will allow ourselves to sell so instead of buying that card table what i should have done is possibly bought a small cabinet and then i could have bought the card sleeves as well purchase license unlock this spell. so we have to purchase a license first so we'll go ahead and do that and then they are £19.60. So what we might do is earn a little bit of money and start selling the card sleeves as well. So for now, we're going to end the day. But first we end the day, we're going to open up our album and see what cards we have. So as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, total value. Oh, you may have noticed as well, I also moved the camera to the flip side because I noticed that you couldn't actually see the value of the cards. So apologies for that. But now we have 2,783 in our album so we've collected 152 cards out of 1320 
Okay, so let's have a look at our rarest card, which is this one over here at £381. We'll just get that and have a look. So a Nocti EX a common, so that's pretty nice. X common a fail foil card, that's quite nice. And we've got this one here, which is an Esmeray at 335. We've got 90, 80, 62, 60, and these drop a little bit lower over here. But if we go on to the next page, you can see we have collected quite a few duplicates. So we've got plenty of these single cards to sell. The extremely rare ones, I think I've got multiple of them like this one here i've got 19 of those so yeah i think we've near enough completed this whole section i think quite possibly so yeah let's go ahead and we will end the day there i think and we'll see how much of a loss we have actually made this day 14 dissatisfied customers which is not great but our profit minus 1141 considering we only started with a thousand i don't think that's too bad although it is pretty terrible i won't lie so let's open up shop and unfortunately we've got nothing else to sell apart from you playing cards so we're going to go ahead and waste some time hopefully these will fill up pretty quickly let's see six pound fifty an hour yeah nearby stores seven so we'll confirm the event and i think that would do there we'll just make sure that this one i'm not sure if you have to do these individually or what but at least we have this here so standard test 10 customers played yeah okay so there we go hopefully our customers will come in and start playing games and earning us some money okay so the shop has been open for a little bit of time and as you can see customers are coming in but they seem very dissatisfied and they're not actually buying anything and they're very reluctant to sit down at the tables as well so what we might have to do is possibly sell a couple of these tables and i think we'll purchase the metal rack or maybe the cabinet and some packs as well so i think we'll go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and box this up and we'll sell this for a hundred and then yeah we'll do this one as well i think we're gonna have to to make some money so we'll box this up sell that and then we'll go ahead and we'll buy the small cabinet for 150 and then what we'll do is we'll put a stock order in for these card sleeves so how many can we buy probably two packs of those yeah 44 pounds that will do okay so let's get this done and hopefully we'll make a little bit of an income this way otherwise we are pretty stuck i'm going to go ahead and shove these on nice okay shelf has no more space so box has no item in it that's fine okay so at least we know where we can put these can we put any of these on the bottom shelf we can perfect that will do that we'll get rid of that box and then we just need to set the price on these uh, market price 164 i think we'll go up to 180 we'll make a 131 profit so we get those at least it will encourage people to actually come in and buy some stuff at least then we'll make a little bit of oh my wow okay you you definitely like um collecting your cards then this was definitely a smart move to sell them two tables we can always buy some new tables as well so how much did that come to 32 pounds not bad at all and seven pound 46 and how many have you bought are uh, not as many as the last guy but that's fine every little does help at all so uh, slowly making some money back so that's good definitely want to get um, a car table bought but that's going to take 400 i think it is let's just have a look i think it was 400 yeah 400 for the car table so that's ideally what we need and then we can sell some of the extremely rare cards we've got and for about 300 that will give us a nice little bit of income to start moving forward so eight pound 20 change for that lovely and how many have we got so yeah we haven't got many left we've only got 22 left so that's nearly about about 30 30 pounds something like that for that so can't really bank on those too much we could buy some more though but i think we'll leave it for now we'll try and save as much money as we can i'm hoping to get to 400 but we just might have to repeat this process a little bit but that's not to worry we can get there we are at the end of day two and we are just just shy of 400 pounds so i think we're gonna have to spend another day yeah another day selling card leaves and playing the table i think that's probably going to be the best way to make some money unless of course we could afford possibly the cleanser i'm not sure if that's going to be a good move or not we do only need 400 so we could just wait a little bit longer and hopefully get that done so yeah i think we'll spend a little bit more of the next day just selling some card sleeves and seeing if we can make some money that way but the good news is at day two we have made 116 pound profit so 
we're definitely going in the right direction we just need that 400 pounds just to get that card table so we can start selling some cards so hopefully it shouldn't take us too long and we should be there okay let's go we have got so far 481 pounds now so let's go ahead and quickly buy this card table and we can start getting some cards on sale so just serve this customer and then we'll get some cards on sale hopefully we can make a fair bit of money now hopefully it should be nice smooth sailing from now on so let's go ahead we'll get this card table out and get this set up ready we're going to pop it right here and we're going to start selling our cards so i think what we'll do is we will just serve this customer possibly if they come in yeah okay so we should be good to go so let's go ahead and enter our cards where we want to go we want to go back to the first page so this one here the 386 pound one i'm going to be really cheeky and i'm going to see if we can sell this card for 500 i'm just going to leave that one there we're just going to take a massive gamble on that one i'm just going to leave that one at 500 and the rest of them we're all going to do at market price plus 10 percent i think that's probably going to be the best way to do it or should we just go market price i mean we're going to make a pure profit on this let's not be greedy because we're kind of not in a position to be greedy at the moment so we're just going to flick all these onto market price we're just going to sell the most expensive ones to start with and start getting some money rolling in so we can start unlocking some more licenses and getting some rarer cards on in our collection so we're going to go ahead and get all these done i've got quite a few customers waiting i think and we have got two of these so that's pretty good we can get two of those i'm trying to be as quick as i can so we're not making these customers wait any longer than they need to be but there we go we should have all of these now on sale and we need some card sleeves as well so just quickly i'm just going to order some of these card sleeves so they can go with our singles that we are selling quickly serve these customers to start with get those done 14 pound chain lovely thank you very much and we'll get change as well so let's go ahead and get these card sleeves on the shelf at least then people can buy these with the singles and they can help protect their cards i wonder if it's going to work like that i wonder if it's clever enough to sell them in conjunction with each other it'll be definitely interesting to know it'll be interesting to know if we can sell that one for 500 as well i think it's going to be there a while if i'm completely honest but it looks like we have our first customer who's bought one of our cards and that one was perfect okay 4266 we're definitely on our way to getting some forever cards now that's good. Oh, one another customer's just bought one of our cards. Lovely. £73.97. So 2603. There we go. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business. Oh, has someone someone has bought that card? Oh my god, someone actually bought that for 500 pounds Oh wow. Okay. Let's go. The biggest sale. Yeah, perfect. I'm so happy with that one. I really am happy with that one. We've now got 705, 705 pounds so we could buy another one of these tables. I can't actually believe someone bought that for 500. I've, I honestly really can't. But look at this card here. This one here. I'm tempted to put this one up for 500 as well. Just to see what happens. I'm, I'm sure someone will buy it. I mean, they bought that one. So I can't see why not. It's definitely a rare card. So we'll see how it fares. Um, change 10. We can do that for you. Someone. Uh, nope. I thought someone just bought the card then. But I just realized it wasn't in the right space. So 20 for that one. Oh, we're making one big profit today. So 20 for this one. Can't wait to get to level 10 so we can get the cashier. So we can spend a little bit more time opening cards. Because I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. Although it did take a while. But I'm, I'm so thoroughly happy with this one here that sold 500. We're going to try and sell this one as well for 500. But we will see. It's another card sold for 91. 91.70 for that. Lovely. Getting towards the end of the day. But hopefully we'll make in quite a bit of profit today i definitely think we've deserved it it's been a long long time waiting we have successfully got there in the end so we're near enough out to the thousand pounds that we started with so we're doing well there so we've got plenty of sleeves on sale this one here for 500 hopefully we can get rid of that one as well what i might do is stock up these ones while we're quiet we'll just put these at market price these ones are worth a little bit anyway it soon all adds up so definitely happy with this the way things are going but yeah i think we are pretty much done with the common cards novice seller sell sold a 200 or 
$200 card. Nice. Pretty sure we sold it for a little bit more than that, but it was a bit delayed, that, that achievement. Oh, I do like these ones over here, actually. Let's go for, go for this one here, I think. This nice pygmy. Market price, we'll get that sold. Click on the light over here, it's getting a little bit dark. So yeah, I've definitely got to think of what our next strategy is going to be. Whether we get another card table, or we just leave the one for now. Um, but we need to figure out what we're going to be doing next. So let's go ahead and have a look at these to go recruit yeah level 10 or 40 it was and we've got tabletop here so we can oh okay so we can sell games as well so purchase to unlock this product so that's another way we can kind of make some money which is pretty good considering we're only allowed to sell singles not doing too bad so let's stock order what have we got here so we need level nine to get the red card boxes but as far as I remember, instead of spending a 50 to find out, I'm pretty sure they are pretty much work out the same price. So you get 32 here and you get 64 here. But I'm pretty sure that you get pretty sure that it's pretty much the same price. I'm not sure about the basic card box though. But I'm not sure if it's worth buying the license on these just to find out. These are more selling on shelf. But yeah, we can access the rare card pack now. So I think we'll buy the license for that. And then I think we'll buy a couple of boxes of these in preparation for selling the rest of them. I think we should open, we'll buy another another card table first. And then whatever we've got left over, we'll buy the card packs and we'll open those. So £2.30 change. So let's go ahead and buy another card table. And we have got small card display for the extremely, extremely rare ones. That might be cool. A warehouse shelf, personal shelf, a card table. Let's go for another card table. And then stock order, we'll order possibly three boxes i don't think we'll be able to afford all we can we can do four boxes let's go so that's all of our money spent that's literally all of our profit already spent ready for the next day so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to pop this over here i think there we go we're going to close the shop up these customers can leave as and when okay so let's go ahead and pop these in here for now and we'll go ahead and open all of these up start getting some more cards on sale hopefully we find some extremely rare ones in these we did buy the rare packs so hopefully the probability is higher if not we're going to have a slight little problem i think i better order some card sleeves as well so let's go ahead and order another box of those we probably order two boxes of these to be honest with you but one box will be enough for now we'll get these on here perfect okay so let's go ahead and get these rare card packs open so let's start off with the first so we get seven additional game cards with these so let's see what we got not worth a lot at the moment so first card pack not exactly the most profitable but we're going to carry on going through and see what we get we are getting some new cards though so that's pretty good so we got a 20 pound of decimite silver edition not the most expensive we happen to collect in our collection but nonetheless the profit is still a profit so we're looking for the ultra rare cards so i know that the ultra ultra rare ones are like the ghost cards I'm not sure what packs actually hold them or not, but we'll hopefully find one of those in this video. If not, there will definitely be a time comes where we do find one of these ghost cards. So definitely have something I'm looking forward to. So, so far, I'm not actually that impressed with these rare card packs. Um, I seem to have got more um, higher end, more expensive cards in the common packs. So I'm a little bit confused as to what the actual difference is, apart from obviously they are the rarer type of card, but in regards to price wise there doesn't seem to be many that i've gotten so far that are actually worth a fair little bit of money as i said i seem to have got more in the actual common packs which is a little bit odd but nonetheless we'll get all these boxes open and we'll see what cards we got at the end oh yes okay so our first uh, more expensive card at 79 pounds a nice crab looking tetramon not sure what that one's called but play effect to draw two cards then discard one card at random oh straight after that a 35 pound one so looks like we're kind of hitting cards off some money now, which is definitely going to be good for business. So that pack totals £116. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's all the boxes open. And I don't think we did great with the actual cards we got. So we have got some different card packs here. We've got Destiny, Ghost and Tetramon. As I said, Ghost are the most expensive ones. But we're going to go for price. So as you can see, we got a £79 card here and a £69. And then we kind of 
didn't get the very expensive cards out of those rare packs which as i said is a little bit disappointed i did find we did actually get better value for money out of the common packs but nonetheless we're probably going to end up selling these cards anyway so that's pretty good so let's go ahead and we'll stick this one on sale over here we'll do market price plus 10 percent and that should be good okay so let's end the day at where we are and see what kind of profit we've made so we made a loss of 307 but that's not too bad that's just what i kind of spent on the on the cards themselves so we'll start the next day and we here we are in day four so i think that would be a good place to leave that episode so so far we're doing pretty well we've got a couple of nice rare cards out of the common packs not so good on the rare packs but we are well on our way to completing the singles only challenge so hopefully you have liked this video if you have make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss any more as i said i will have a let's play series on this game so i'll leave that link in the description as and when it is released so that's been kryptonite here thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next episode